Do I look pretty? Don't you like it when people smell like paprika? Did you know that Bob Dylan smelled like paprika? No, I didn't. He used to rub it all over himself. I'm serious. Really? Yeah, it's like one of those little known facts about Bob Dylan is that he used to stand in his room and rub paprika all over himself. Why was he doing that? Because he liked the smell and the texture of paprika on his body. Oh. Well. Okay. I'm chilling out in a parking lot in my hometown. I'm looking around and realizing that if I didn't live here, I would think this place was incredibly ghetto. Like I would be afraid to walk here by myself at night and I would be kind of creeped out during the day as well, but because I live here and I know that it's harmless, I'm not. Places that we travel and things that seem really weird or foreign or freaky wouldn't if we lived there. So I try to keep that in mind when I travel to, if I lived here and grew up here, would I find this weird? Would I get out of the car? Would I go in that store? Would I talk to that person? And usually the answer is yes, I would. Am I making sense? Am I down to now? So it's February 1st and it feels like the middle of April and it's amazing. Pretty much love it. Except it's disgusting because everything is melting. It feels fantastic. It's great when global warming and climate change work in your favor. No, it's not. This is bad. It should be... There should be feet of snow on the ground right now. Feet. And... I shouldn't be able to walk right here. We're going to go to like five different places looking for cake. Because we're on to our third place now, right? Who do I gotta kill to get me some cake? Do you know what I'm saying? And she's like, I can't slice the cake till Friday. Maybe I don't want cake. Maybe I should make my own, but see, I don't want a full cake because then I'm going to sit there and I'm going to eat an entire cake in like two days, right? Mm -hmm. So... First world problems. I can't find cake, so I'm emotionally eating Panera. I found cake! It's a chocolate chip cake. Cheesecake drops. Yes. It's confession time. I am one of those people that tells everyone to embrace their birthday and embrace their age and that age is nothing but a number you are how old you feel and all of that and now that it tomorrow is my birthday kind of not looking forward to being 24 things haven't gone the way that i would have particularly liked i don't know another way that they would have gone does that make sense i like who i am as a person and i like a lot of the people in my life so maybe there's not a lot to regret necessarily it's just I understand that 24 is really young. <laughs> I get that. You know, I'm not supposed to have it all figured um, because I don't think you ever really do. I, th I think you grow up from the time you're born to the time you die. I don't think you reach a point and you're like, I'm an adult, I know everything about myself. And you know, you can't hold yourself to a fictional version of perfection. Things happen, things come up that are in your control and beyond your control and Sometimes it takes a while to figure out the difference. I don't know, birthdays are just nostalgic. As much as you try not to think about it or you think that it's not important to you, it is. You know, it's, it's a celebration of your life. In society, we, we train people to look forward to every year up until adulthood. And then once you're in adulthood, your birthday isn't about imagining the future. It's about imagining events that didn't go the way that you had planned. <laughs> I think you can be the most successful person in the world and your birthday comes around and you're like, whoa, I'm already this age and you know, it's kind of, it's kind of trippy. It's weird to think that I'm gonna have been out of high school for six years this summer. If you think about it like that, it's, I feel like I just graduated. Everybody tells you that 
this is going to happen. That this is the this is the time in your life when all of these things happen. Things don't go as planned. You get disappointed. Things go amazingly well, better than you had planned. And it's all this weird stuff. Your early and mid twenties are, are a really weird time. It's going to fly by so fast, and it does. And you don't believe it until it's you. History repeats itself because everyone has to go through it themselves. It's different when it's you. Every situation that you could possibly imagine is different when you're in it. You know, I'm 24, I still live at home. <laughs> I've never really supported myself on completely on my own. And that's just the way that it's worked out. Obviously, I didn't do that on purpose. You know, and someone who's working since they were 15, maybe they didn't, you know, have to, but yet they did. Time and age is, are really abstract. It's all open to interpretation. I don't know if any of this makes any sense. I'm also one of those people that draws my birthday out for at least three days. I like to celebrate my birthday the day before, the day of, and the day after. I just like it. I feel like birthdays should always be three days long. <laughs> so, those are my thoughts. I don't know if I make any sense. But I think that maybe you understand what I'm saying. What was that noise?